What up, YouTube? Yeah, I'm back with another one. Damn, they got a little rough. Yeah, oh, yeah, but, uh, man, I saw some disturbing stuff, man. I'm going to try to stop cursing, too. But I saw some disturbing stuff, man. I saw T.I. son. Is this little, what's this little nigga name? King? Going crazy, talking talking to his parents like they some regular motherfuckers on the street. Uh, some regular, excuse me, some regular people on the street. And I thought to myself, I'm like, damn, these rich people then took care of this little nigga good his whole life, and he jumps on on camera just talking crazy. Talking about he stand on business. The little nigga said he stand on business. I'm looking at this little nigga like, T.I. should have pulled all your hair out. Mm-hmm. He should have, he should have pulled all your hair out. Because you disrespectful, bro. I, I just don't get it. People didn't grow up poor. I grew up poor. From the ghetto, for real. And dreamt about living the way you live. And this what you give your parents in return? Talk to them like they nobody? Really? CTI? I'm going to give you some advice. I know you probably don't want to hear from a nigga like me. You like, ah, oh, nigga, you broke, whatever, yeah, whatever. But I'm going to tell you some real shit. You got another son. What's the little dude name? I don't know what's his name. The one wearing the cowboy hats and the boots with the little scarf like uh, Mr. Frilly on Three Company. The little cowboy singer dude. You need to get him and tell him to go whoop little man ass. That's what you need to do. He should do it anyway just for disrespecting his mama. Talking crazy to his mama. He should beat this little nigga up, beat his little brother up for talking crazy to his mama. Yes, he should. I don't care if y'all agree with it or not. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. That's what big brothers are for. To whoop your ass when you get out of line. See, T.I. just want to tussle and wrestle. He really, he really don't want to hurt you. But, um, yeah, you, you, I can tell you didn't grow up getting your ass whooped. That's why you wanted to go to your, your grandmama house. Your grandmama a white woman. White people don't whoop their kids. They let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. And I know that she let you do whatever you wanted to do. You had a pacifier till you were 12 years old. <laughs> That's the wildest shit. I ain't never seen no shit like that, except on the movie. The little nigga, uh, Boys in the Hood, that had the pacifier in the wheelchair. You got 12 years old with a pacifier? You was special. You was must have been uh, a drug baby or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> that ain't natural. You probably was peeing on yourself, too. But, um, little man, you tripping. You stand on business. T.I. should put your ass out immediately. I'm not, he, he shouldn't take none of your money. Let you keep all, whatever money you got, you can keep that. That little jury you got, you you keep, you because you're going to need it. Pawn shop going to be waiting on your little ass. But anything I bought and paid for to see my name, oh yeah, I'm taking that back and I'm making a phone call. And when you get back to the house, you ain't getting in and all your shit going to be sitting in the front. So you can stand there on that business and get your shit and go wherever you going. Because um, ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Motherfucker took care of you like that and you just talk to your pops like that and your mama. I don't know who told your little ass you was tough. But I know some tough little niggas. And I guarantee if your daddy dropped you off where I'm from, they strip your little ass down. Quick. Quick. With their hands. They, ain't, they don't even need no pills. They beat the shit out your little ass. Because uh, you ain't seen no real shit. I don't know what kind of little niggas you hanging around, but uh, nah, little man, you tripping. See, this is good this happened. This is a prime example of what happened when you spoil your motherfucking kids. 
It's good to take care of him. I believe that. He spoiled. That little motherfucker spoiled. I think he's the youngest too. Oh, he spoiled. He spoiled. I used to see him on videos with uh 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 what's that Lil Boosie son. Them little Lil Boosie son ain't got shit on this little nigga though. He wild. He didn't got them big teeth in his mouth too. Oh yeah, he ready. He ready to go. He just don't give a damn. <clears throat> he don't realize the only way reason a motherfucker know your little ass is because your daddy. If it wasn't for your daddy, wouldn't nobody know who your little yellow ass was. You be you just be another funny looking little yellow nigga walking around the universe, the planet. Now you got your family all over the internet. All over. I heard a little bit of it. That then I actually saw the video. I was like, oh yeah, this little nigga tripping. He tripping. You tripping hardcore, bro. Yeah. But that's what happens. When you raise your kids like that around the devil um, environment, that's what you get. Now, you know, kids go be kids, you know. Kids lash out at their parents. We all go through that. I didn't went through it. You know what I mean? But not no shit like that, though. <clears throat> no, no, no. He, we got to get physical. Like you dealing with a little nigga on the street. T.I. should have whooped your ass. He should have put hands on your ass. Fuck all that wrestling. He should have socked your little ass up. You should have left that motherfucker with a busted lip, a nose. He should have fucked you up, man. A lot of y'all probably don't agree with me, but a lot of y'all probably do agree with me. Either way, I don't give a damn. That's my opinion. He should have whipped your little ass. So, you wouldn't ask, you have second thoughts about that shit the next time, because you tripped out. Motherfuckers would love to be in your position. Love it. You just take it for granted. You just take it for granted. Them little chains and shit you got on. I wonder who gave you the money to buy all that shit. If you even bought it. Your mama probably bought it for you. That probably be part of the problem. She probably spoiled the shit out you too. You look just like her. Funny. What y'all think, man? Ain't that some cold shit? How would y'all handle the situation? If you was rich as a motherfucker, took care of a motherfucker like that, and and they act wild. It's just crazy. People that's poor trying to get rich so they can get out that environment. And the people that's rich trying to go to the, to the poor shit. The ghetto. That, like, that shit is fucking backwards. That's crazy. I was trying to help stop cursing, but man, nah, that's crazy, man. That's backwards thinking. Backwards. It's like all these rich niggas be getting locked up. And I be like, you were not born rich, so y'all niggas had to do you had to do that talent or whatever got you where you are. But you got rich and you still in, engaging in stupid shit. Now I understand stupid certain shit still goes on when you ain't around. Hey, you got to do that kind of shit on the lower and keep doing what you doing. But y'all niggas just go full-fledged. Look at Young Thug. This nigga just sitting in jail. Every time I see him on YouTube, I just shake my head like, damn. What the other little nigga? Uh, uh, what's that little nigga? Tory Lanez. Niggas don't even talk about this nigga no more. He just, like, forgotten. Who shiesty? It's a whole lot of these little niggas in jail. And you go to jail, you just, you don't know it or not. You dead to the world. Out of sight, out of mind. Motherfucker might be like, remember you there and there, but you just gone, man. You ain't around until motherfucker see you again. And y'all don't realize that. That's the, that shit is wild. You young ass niggas be having all that money in jail. Wild. But see, that be in the most country ass states, them, them Republican states where you can just carry guns and shit. And, yeah. But, um. This shit is way out crazy, man. Way out. It's been a lot of shit going on. I've just been kicking back, watching. You know, yeah, observing. People talking about voting and all this. Man, I'm going to hit y'all with that, that Joe Biden line. If you vote for Joe Biden, 
you ain't black. That's how I feel. Yeah. That nigga done did damage. He did my... Why would y'all vote for him anyway? Don't you know he the uh, author of the three strikes law? I know some of y'all out there got family members been locked up since the 90s because uh maybe they stole some bubble gum or a dress or something crazy and been locked up like they killed somebody. Why would you vote for this dude? Look at all the stuff that's going on right now. They give money to everybody. Ukraine, all these people coming across the damn border, all them people around in Chicago, now we got this war going on. They passing out money to them. But y'all ain't got nothing for black people. And y'all go vote for that? Y'all got to be out y'all goddamn mind. And I ain't saying go vote no damn Republican either. Nah. Whoever gonna give us some reparation money, like them Indians, they owe us money too? Yeah. We go vote for y'all. Whoever it may be. I don't give a damn. Republican, Democrat, uh, whatever other parties they got. If you go pay us, yeah, let's vote for them. Why keep voting for people that ain't going to give you nothing? And that's how, how y'all niggas been voting. Programmed to vote. Man, them days is over with. Times is too hard and too rough and too tough, and they doing the shit in your face. And you niggas know history? You know they owe us money. So y'all just to the point like, oh, we ain't going to get it. You know, those niggas used to sit in slavery and be like, man, we ain't never getting out of slavery. Shit, I'm sitting here talking to y'all on this goddamn um, phone and y'all watching me right now. Bullshit. You got some niggas out there that ain't gonna never pay us. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why they ain't? Man, we gonna have to make them motherfuckers pay. If you don't wanna pay us? Okay. We ain't voting for none of you motherfuckers then. We'll sit this shit out. Mm-hmm. And don't nobody give a damn about Trump being the president and all that. They, Man, I done went through all that shit. And to be honest, shit, gas was cheaper. Food was cheaper. And the nigga had a lot more money. See, you can't trick a nigga like me because I know. A racist motherfucker, he might be, but he's a capitalist. Because a motherfucker wouldn't have no black friends if he was a racist like that. And he motherfucker used to mess with him way back in the 90s. Rappers used to talk about him. As long as you got some money, he mess with you. If you a broke ass nigga, he don't want to deal with you. And I can understand that. Because I don't want to deal with no broke ass niggas. So y'all mad at a nigga because he don't want to deal with broke people? Oh, no, he oh he's a bad bad landlord or whatever. Yeah, I'd be a bad landlord too if you tearing my shit up. I'm putting your ass out. I don't care what color you is. Man, y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy. I think somebody finna just keep voting for y'all and, and you ain't giving us nothing. You gonna give everything protection to, to Asian people for crime bills. What about us? You know how many homeless people I see every day? You know how many people I done seen used to be all right and they done lost it and can't maintain because the fucking one bedroom in the ghetto is 2100 goddamn dollars. Credit score gotta be 750. You got to make three times the goddamn rent. I'm not making none of this shit up. This shit is real, man. This shit is all fucked up. In the, and they got the shit designed to be this way. Man, we got to stop vote. We got to get this crazy motherfucker out of there. So she can go back to how it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be. All the old people, all the coon ass people that been voting for the Democrats, when they die off, then what? Y'all, then what? Y'all didn't think about that, huh? Because the new people ain't voting for y'all ass. Niggas in my age bracket ain't voting for your ass. And the younger people ain't voting for y'all ass is in trouble. And I'm, man, if don't nobody else want to, y'all go pay us. We want that money. Mm hmm. What is, ain't no studies. We don't want to hear nothing about no, no, we're going to get a group together to figure it out. No, forget all that. It's figured out already. Just like y'all figured out for everything out. When that pandemic came, y'all, man, y'all kicked out trillions. So y'all, that's where y'all messed up at. Then y'all start passing out all and y'all still passing out money. As we speak in the pandemic, been over. But you ain't got it. Yeah, you do. Run me my money. Yeah. Now you goofy people talking about, oh, 
my I didn't do anything. That why should I have to pay? No, silly ass. Don't, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this. Just the government. What, what part of that y'all don't understand? The government allowed slavery. Made money off of this shit. Hundreds of years. This ain't got nothing to do with your stupid ass. But y'all ain't got no problem when everybody else getting paid money. Only when black people. Motherfuckers tired of hearing that shit. Oh, this is, the excuses are over. Run me my motherfucking money. Like everybody else get paid. Debts don't go away. When you owe a motherfucker, you owe a motherfucker. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Black people, y'all watching this, man. Please. Tell your people, or y'all know they ain't gonna listen. But they, we got to go a different direction. We can't keep, we can't do this no more. We can't. It's not good for us. They talking about about a year, what, 20, what was it, 2050 or some crazy, real close. Black people are well projected to be zero. You know what the hell that mean and what that's gonna look like? Look, look at it right now. They send all these people over trying to replace us. I work with a motherfucker darker than me, got more grays on his face than me, don't know a lick of English. And this nigga talking about he's 20 years old. Man, and I ain't lying. There's some bullshit going on. The motherfuckers is orchestrating this shit together. You can believe that. Man, you got to stand strong, man. We got to do something different. And um, they go feel us. Might not be next year. Might not be the year after. Might not be, might be five years, six years, ten years from now. Who knows? Y'all go pay us that motherfucking money. And you can believe that. No lie.